Hi, did you know that we have a master clock in our brain? This has been one of the more recent findings from understanding our brain that we actually have a center which is responsible for controlling all the various other clocks that we have in different parts of the body. And this is essentially the master clock. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about the master clock, what it is, where it is, and what is the function and the importance of this particular structure. So the master clock is essentially a small group of about 20,000 neurons that is located in one part of our brain, just which is very close to the hypothalamus. Now this group of neurons is going to be controlled or it receives the signals from our eyes. So effectively, when we open our eyes in the morning or when light strikes the eye, the cells take that information, a chemical is released and that chemical comes along and tells the master clock that it's time to wake up. Now that means that our day starts and then at some point in the afternoon, the instruction then goes out to the rest of the body from the master clock that it is time to start shutting down. So you can see how important daylight is to the functioning of the clock. Now the master clock is also responsible for controlling all the other clocks in the body. And there are these small clocks and timers that are present in different organs in the GI tract, in the stomach and in the intestine and in other parts. And these are all to a certain extent controlled by the master clock. Now what controls the sleep part there? We now realize that the master clock is responsible for what's called the circadian rhythm. And then there is another thing that controls our sleep alongside the circadian rhythm, which is the sleep pressure. So the sleep pressure is what allows us to sort of finally get to sleep. And that is controlled by a chemical called adenosine. So this chemical starts to increase as the day goes by. So as long as we are awake, this chemical gradually increases in amount. And at a certain point of time, the chemical pressure builds so much that our body and our brain and the master clock all gives the indication that it's time to sleep. This is the grogginess that you feel when you have a big meal or when it's nighttime that is built up due to an increase in adenosine. When you have a good night's sleep, seven to nine hours, the adenosine gets washed out. If you don't sleep long enough, the adenosine still hangs about and that's why you wake up unrefreshed and groggy. So that is why it's important to have a good night's sleep for the adenosine to wash off. And in another video, I talk about how caffeine blocks and prevents some of the adenosine from latching on which is how it keeps us awake, but it's not a good strategy in the long term. And similarly, the circadian rhythm, which is part of the master clock, is also getting affected due to digital technology, which I cover in another video. So the master clock is something that we have to be really aware of and understand the various factors that influence the master clock. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Hi, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to hear and see more, then please click the subscribe button and hit the notifications button so that you'll know when the next video is released.